Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a normal 6v6 TDM on Raid, and I'm using one of my favorite setups of all time, FAL, Suppressor, Stock, and Select Fire. Really awesome setup. The Select Fire sort of seems like a waste, I know, because when I first started running the FAL, I was like, man, this is such a waste. Like, I can just pull the trigger. Why do I have to have one trigger to make it automatic? It already shoots that fast. Trust me, you've just got to try it out. It's really good. Um, it's just, it's so much more convenient to not have to pull the trigger and you can focus on your aim and it's just one less thing you have to worry about. It's really nice. And this is coming from a guy that really loved, uh, semi-automatic. I really love the MK14 in Modern Warfare 3 and I had no problems pulling the trigger, but trust me, the select fire makes things a lot nicer and it's, it's just such a consistent, watch this. I put three shots into that dude, and I thought I killed him. I just ran, I, I literally thought I killed him. I just ran past, like, oh, that guy's dead. And I did not notice that until I watched this right now. Like, I didn't notice that until I watched the video while I was editing it. And uh, in the game, I didn't notice. I, I mean, I would have been able to easily kill that guy. I just, you know, would have put one more shot into him. I just thought he died. I don't know if you guys have had that happen where you shoot a guy, like, four or five times, and you go to reload just out of habit because you're like, oh, he's dead. And he just didn't die, and you just reload, and you just killed yourself pretty much. Uh, it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that guy didn't die. But, uh, let's talk about the gun setup a little, or let's talk about the kill streak let up, uh, loadout. Wow, I can't talk today. Uh, I'm running UAV, Stealth Chopper, and Orbital VSAT. Really good setup. I actually scaled my kill streaks down because I noticed that my higher kill streaks, when I was running dogs, they were getting like two or three kills. And that's just not effective. Uh, I would much rather loop my kill streaks and get another VSAT than get, get all the way up to dogs and then not to get, and then not give me any kills. From, because we're from, from, eh, I can't talk today, ah! From what I've seen, the lower kill streaks seem to be better because they're, they're A, easier to get, uh, B, people don't leave the game. People don't huddle up in a corner when they hear a stealth chopper. People don't, you know, people don't leave the game usually when they hear a stealth chopper. Whereas, whereas with dogs, enemy dogs inbound, leave, 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 leave. And I think my, I think one setup I really want to run is, uh, is uh, 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 stealth chopper, escort drone, VSAT. I think an escort drone and a VSAT put together where you just guide your escort drone to the red triangles, I think that would be sick. And I can't wait to re-unlock the escort drone. Escort drone is one of the uh, most underrated kill streaks. I have that thing, I've had that thing go completely ham for me, just completely ridiculous. And I take out that guy trying to take out my stealth chopper. The stealth chopper is a really good kill streak too that a lot of people overlook. Sometimes, man, I've had that thing give me like 12 kills in a 6v6 before, and people can't see it on the map. So it's really, really uh, noob. It really fucks up noobs because noobs, a lot of noobs like to shoot down air support like crazy, and with it not showing up on the map, it's pretty awesome. It, it, it's really hard for them to see it and shoot it down, and you know, they take a while to shoot it down. You get kills like I just got, uh, like right there. So, Recommend you guys try it out. Really good setup. I recommend you guys turn your kill streaks down a little bit too. Like dogs, they just aren't that good. I, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe I'm just maybe they're just not that good in TDM. I've, I mean, I've had them go crazy for me. Don't get me wrong. I've had some ridiculous games where in the dogs and the swarm and things like that, but they just don't seem to be as good as they used to be anymore. Maybe people are just getting getting used to them and just huddling up in a corner once they hear them get called in. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Watch this shit. Look at this. That looks a little shady. I don't know if it was lag. I don't know what it was, but that looked a little bit shady. But you see, right? Look, look at this. For some reason, these guys were just hell bent on sitting in this little house. And watch this. I get stuck. I get stuck in the fucking doorway.